Hello, so let's do another Half-Life question. I guess I would consider this one perhaps an intermediate question. And uh, we might need to use logarithms to, to get to the answer. So, the half-life of a certain Venusian substance is 90 days. So right away we can plug that over here for big T. And uh, because big T represents just the half-life. And how long would it take for 80 pounds of it to be reduced to 20 pounds? So the 80 can go over here because that's the beginning amount. And it's reduced to 20 pounds, so that's the final amount, and it will go over there. So 20 is equal to 80 times 0 0.5 to the power of little t over 90. In this case, actually, we won't need to use logarithms, and I'll show you why. We can divide both sides by 80, okay? And we get 20 divided by 80. I can simplify this into one quarter, okay? Um, please never make the mistake of multiplying these two. We can't multiply them because there's an exponent there. Uh, but many students would go right away and say, oh, 40 to the power of t over 90. Please don't make that mistake. So we get a quarter equals 0 0.5. I'm going to re rewrite the 0.5 as half to the power of t over 90. And uh, look at this. I have 1 over 4 here. I can rewrite the 1 over 4 as half to the power of 2, or just half squared. Right? Hopefully that makes good sense to everyone. If not, I would suggest you review uh, exponents, and you can do that on our marvelous website here. And uh, right now, look at this. What, look at what we have here. This is why we will need logarithms to solve for little t, because it can actually just say, at this point, that, uh, I'm just, just going to change colors again, that 2 is equal to t over 90. Look at that. Because after all, I have the same base on both sides of the equation. So I can just do that. 2 equals t over 90. Then I can just multiply both sides by 90. Those cancel out. And t is going to be equal to 90 times 2, 180. Great. So it takes 180 days Okay, for the substance to go from 80 pounds down to 20 pounds. That's it.